Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we're here with a short tutorial about the height mapping tools, everything, how it works, and how you can adjust the provided files by Frontier for yourself to create your own landscapes in Planet Zoo. So first of all, how do you get the pre-made map that Frontier already added into the game? You go to Sandbox right over here, you're gonna start a new zoo, you just click one of the biomes if you want to, and you click the continent, and then right over here you can see the terrain type. So you now have flat, sculpted, and four different height maps that are pre-made by Frontier. And just to give you an idea of how they look like, I will open one for you right over here, but you can obviously open the others yourself as well. So we're gonna create a zoo. So this is one of the maps that Frontier added uh, themselves, and you can also edit these files in, in a program like Photoshop or anything that supports TIF files. Uh, so as you can tell right over here, all the maps that Frontier made are flat with like basically some mountains on top of that. But that does not mean that you're not able to like dig in rivers or anything like that. Uh, so let me just jump over to Photoshop to give you an idea of how that looks. So to get to all these pre-made files that Frontier added already, so you can edit them yourself in Photoshop, you go to your Steam library. And then you right click on to Planet Zoo, you go to manage, and then browse local files. And then you will get into this folder. And as you can tell right over here, you have provided textures, provided height maps, movie licenses. You also have the soundtrack, the wallpapers that you got with the deluxe version. So if you don't have that, you probably don't have the deluxe version. So what you're going to do is you go to provided height maps and there you can find all these four files that they pre-made for you. So quickly before we jump into Photoshop, you don't per se need Photoshop to edit these files that Frontier provided. You can also just use Paint. I have no experience with Paint at all, so I can't really help you with that. But just so you know, you don't per se need Photoshop to edit these files, you can also just use Paint, which is, if I'm correct, free for almost everyone. So, and there are probably a lot more programs out there that you can also use. But for this tutorial, as example, I'm using Photoshop, just so you know. So now that we open this landscape in Photoshop, you will be able to edit this one yourself. I am not really good at painting in Photoshop, so don't expect too much. I'm just going to give you a preview of how you can use this yourself as well. So what you could do is just uh, click uh, uh, for the gray color, then maybe make it a little bit darker because this gray color is the flat area. So anything below that, if you go darker, that should mean that you're going to dig into the ground because the lighter it becomes, the higher it becomes. So the darker, the lower it becomes. So what we could do right now is just, um, yeah, paint a little bit. So this, this could basically be something like a river going through all of these mountains. I'm not going to do this perfectly or anything like that. But just to give you an idea, we now have some kind of river shape right over here. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm really bad at painting, but it's for the idea, it's for the idea. So we're going to save this file, of course, and we're not going to save it in this folder because then it will not be brought up by the game. I tested it, but it did not work for me. So where you want to go is you want to go to your documents, then Frontier Developments, Planet Zoo, user hype map. So here is the user media that you use for your billboards. And this is the music that you want to maybe upload your own custom music. So these are the folders that we already use for other things as well. So user hype maps, and then we're going to have this example five by the lady. And I'm going to save it. Press OK. And obviously this is going to be saved as a TIFF or TYF file as well. So that should already be a preset. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, obviously this is adjusting the pre-made map that Frontier made. So you already have some mountains and stuff, but if you want to start from scratch, so completely with a flat map, just make sure that you have the, the flat color selected right over here. So you know that this corner right over there is a flat color. 
make sure you have some kind of brush and just uh, make sure that everything is painted in the same color as the edges so you know that this will basically be all flat and then you will start from scratch and uh, start painting yourself with a lighter and darker gray colors to create your own rivers and mountains etc like obviously you do have to add the water and trees etc later on into planet zoo but this is how you can create your own plain canvas to create your own landscapes so now we are back in the game we go to sandbox mode we're gonna create a new sandbox zoo we're gonna click one of the biomes one of the continents and now if we go to terrain type we should be example five by the lady and we're going to open this zoo. So now we are back at the example format that Frontier made, but this time with adjustment. So this is the map we just saved in Photoshop, including some kind of river bedding. Well, obviously it's not uh, completely as flat. I didn't pay too much attention to that, but you can definitely tell that this is what I added myself into this map. It's definitely something to play around with. Like I, I cannot see myself really diving into this too much with a lot of details. I'm just not that good in Photoshop myself, but I can totally see that some people are really good at that and, and in, in painting in general in Photoshop. So you can really create some really detailed maps that can be very useful for any people to use and download themselves. Hopefully there will be some people out there that are going to create some really great maps. But also, like I just said, like with the flat map, you can start from scratch and at least maybe just paint out where you want some rivers to be. I can totally see something like that happening. Maybe just use the terrain tool in game to create some small little hills and stuff. But yeah, going into these type of mountains, I have a lot of respect for anyone that will be able to. Uh, to use a photoshop like that i'm not the person to to ask that but at least you now have the idea to create your own maps how to adjust the maps that frontier added or start with a flat map and just try and uh, create something yourself out of that how to save them and how you can pull them up in planet zoo and play around with that i'm really excited to see what people will come up with creating these landscapes I'm sure there will be really great landscapes coming out of it. Anyways, I really do hope that this short tutorial was helpful to give you an idea of how the height mapping tool works in Planet Zoo. Let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And if you want to see more Planet Zoo content on the channel, I definitely have you covered. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!